the reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to see this video on YouTube when I first discovered this game and I've seen people stream this game on Twitch and I done seen them suffer uh, through the first parts of this uh, game and it, it shouldn't really have to be that way so first things first when you first install a game it'll give you a vault and it'll have your living quarters as your first building just suffer through the uh, uh, tutorial and then delete that vault because having uh, living quarters as your first building after the uh, entry door is stupid so um just suffer through the uh, tutorials and then delete that vault and then create a new one. Creating a new one, you'll start off with just the entry door and no buildings. And if someone has a better build than this, cool. But this is will get you through the first parts of playing this game without being bored and having your vault just suck. So I'm about to create a a new vault I'm gonna call it vault 100 I skipped the tutorial because I don't really need the tutorial so how I started is for uh, for the best productivity early on in the game that first spot is for power and I stack it like this. Diner. Water treatment. Then put my living quarters right there. This first guy is usually uh, high in strength, which is S. So I throw him there. Strength is good for power these last two is usually high in agility and perception that's agility so I'm gonna throw the agility lady into the diner agility is good for um, producing the food um, I already completed an objective I'm gonna throw this last person in the water room because that should be high in P which it is now the fourth person throw that person in but take a right back out you want to have this person explore and sooner they start going out of the vault click up here to see all your people if exiting the vault is not top just click on job and it'll go to the top. Once you see it, explore, uh, say an explorer, click on it and recall it and then close. Generally, it'll let you collect if you do it fast enough, but if not, don't worry about it. Just click back on there. And if it's saying waiting, just collect. The reason why I do that is because now just that quick, you got two objective completed. Get your cash for that. And hopefully, sometimes you'll have three lunch boxes available to uh, earn. This one is just one. So now, what we're just trying to concentrate on is successfully rushing the room and leveling up a dweller. That shouldn't be too hard. So um, right now, we'll just let her let's see if she has at least two in strength or or agility or perception. I'll put them in one of the rooms right now. I'm just going to see who I have here that's high in or uh, elevated a little bit in perception. So I'm going to throw her in the water room. And I'm just trying to fill these rooms up. A lot of people, they want to expand the, uh, the rooms early. And it's, that's not necessarily good because if you have a small room filled to capacity, it's going to generate more resources opposed to you having two people in a room that's expanded three times. And that's how it's been working for me. So all these people's stats are not so good. So I'm going to just, just work with anyone that has two and something. I'm going to put 
her there. And pretty much, I just want all the rooms filled to capacity. You was first in line. You have two in agility. And how I, I, I just kind of have an uh, eye for it, but if you click on a person and then you click in this area, you'll see S is for strength, P is for, per, for per, perception, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you have the numbers. At this early stage, when I'm saying elevated in the stat, I'm looking for someone that's someone that's uh, three or above. But right now, you don't always get to have that. So right now, right here, you see that this is our pro, pro, this is our actual storage all the way up to here. But this is how much we're producing. So now I'm just gonna jump down here, power generator. And I'm going to stack it like that. He doesn't have two in strength, so I'm not messing with him. She has two in strength, so I'm going to throw it there. Boom. He should have two in strength. Boom. Trying to keep them always full to capacity. Now, right now, I just, that's eight dwellers. And you can see right here, I got eight of eight dwellers. So this is the room that you'll expand early living quarters so now you can go up to 18 the more buildings you make the more uh, power you need the more dwellers you have the more water and food that you need now I usually don't rush unless it's 32 percent of uh, of it failing or not so I'm about to go and see what do I have that's 31 and actually, I like to try to do the water first. If I have the water, collect uh, 50 water, that's usually a, a lunch box. I don't have that now. So right now, I'm just going to go with these boys. A lot of time, my first attempt at rushing the room fails, but this time it did successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that lunch box. There's there's the collect 50 water. So I usually like to rush that room to help get to that quest. But anyway, so this guy's about to level up. That's another lunch box. So now let me go ahead and lunch box it real quick. That's not what I meant to do. Equip the d dweller with an outfit. That should be easy if I get something good from the lunch boxes. So let me just lunch box it real quick. Caps. Power. Outfit. That's good. Because I'm going to be able to get another lunch box from completing that objective. It's cool when you get a dweller from a lunch box early on. Sometimes you won't get that. Sometimes I'll get two or three. Weapon. That's good. Caps. That's good. Outfit. All right. Now. I'm going to get this guy. This account outfit. Because it elevates his uh, perception. I'll probably end up giving it to somebody lower. That's got lower perception. But for now. I'm just going to give it to him. Just so I can get that objective done in a lunchbox, right? So let me lunchbox it real quick. That's good to get a stem pack this early in the game. Another weapon. And right now, at this early stage of the game, as many weapons as you can have is it, the, the more weapons you have the better no matter how sucky they are because you're going to end up selling them or recycling them later anyways here's another dweller it's good to get dwellers early on so now as I got these dwellers in here I'm actually going to do like this and generally you're not this fortunate but I'm going to take these two dwellers that I have 
guy from lunch boxes and since their stats are so high i'm gonna go ahead and mate them this is what i usually do to keep track of who's married to who and and who can actually mate with each other i'll change the guy's name to mr and now she just became his wife so she's gonna be miss mrs oops Mrs. Jean Walker. So now I need another room. So I'm going to go ahead and diner there. Let's see what kind of stats she's got coming up. Okay. So. And she doesn't have two agility. She has two agility. So. So now you can see all my rooms are filled with somebody are filled with two dwellers and that's kind of how I want it to be sometimes you're gonna have to drop lower than that but that's okay no okay yeah whatever I don't want that so now I got a new room unlocked I don't mess with stores this early because I really don't need it. So I'm just going to try to get two more dwellers so I can get my med bay. That uh, produces stem packs. That's important because you need those to um, actually heal yourself. This is kind of a general idea. She's about to be pregnant, so I'm not going to give her a weapon because when they're pregnant, they once you have any adversity in the vault, whether it's an incident of uh, fire or roaches or uh, an attack from uh, outlaws, the pregnant women and the kids, they always run. So, so I'm going to go power generator there. Throw you in there, throw you in there, and now I got enough for my med bay. And at this point, this is usually when the the dwellers stop coming to your vault until you get the radio station. Sometimes you would get one, but this is usually when people get stuck. What I'm about to do now is I'm gonna make an elevator down so I can have my med bay there and I sh should be getting close to I should be getting close to there it is and actually I'm going to see who this is how I find out who has the best uh, in a stat to assign them to a room and right now I'm probably going to throw this lady in there but for now I'm just going to throw him there just so I have somebody in there. And actually, let me see what I got going on because I'm going to see who's going to be the next person to mate. And it's going to be Harry Grant because he got elevated in strength. And I need a woman that has three in a stat. Oh, so Kelly Price. So Harry Grant. It's going to be the next person to get it on. Okay, now they done made it up. So now we go here and Get over there. Get 
over there. And you get over here for now. You're now Mr. Harry Grant. And you are now Mrs. Kelly Grant. Now I do that because now I have two I'll have two couples waiting for a child and that'll get me up to 16 dwellers and then I'll be ready to do my science lab which will go right up under this building right here so let's throw you back up there I've collected my water for my lunchbox. So now about the lunch boxes. Okay, another dweller. That's good. So now I was really, really fortunate with getting three dwellers from my early lunch boxes and actually I'm gonna look at my stats right here to see so far I got four lunch boxes I should have another one coming it's usually like five early on you can see I've only played it for 17 minutes usually your first session is probably gonna go anywhere between 25 and 45 minutes after that you have to wait three real life hours for the pregnant ladies to deliver their kids so um at that point that's when the game kind of slows down but at but you can see how much i've done in 17 minutes that i've seen people go sh like streaming on twitch for a good hour and they are just having problems with their resources and as you can see my resources is straight and I even got this dude just chilling out here, which he don't even need to be there. Um, I'm going to throw you there. And you... I'm going to actually throw her up here. Because he got so much intelligence, which is I, that I'm going to just throw him there. And while these are two are kind of lollygagging on getting it on, I'm going to give you that and. Do you got a weapon? Yep. You need a weapon too. Now usually Excuse me. Usually I I don't have um any resources that's this close to being um, under the the production rate but this early in the game I can actually start upgrading Sometimes I upgrade the the power generators early, but it really depends on 
what your resource meters are looking like. And right now, I haven't had anything fall into the red. I shouldn't at this early stage of the game. But if I do, I got plenty of... Uh, I got plenty of um, dwellers to make up for that. And the fact that I have two people out here, down here mating, and one of them is my high agility person. That's why my food is suffering a little bit. But once she gets pregnant, she'll still uh, be able to work. So that'll... Uh, the the food will lay, uh, stable out a little bit better so and like I say it really depends on what you get early on from your lunch boxes that will determine how well your your things are producing right now I'm actually kind of ahead of the game because once my two women that will be ready to deliver a, a, a baby it's going to put me at 17 dwellers and that usually only puts me at 16 because I got those three um, dweller from the lunch boxes so sometimes I get one sometimes I get two so and right now because this dude is so high in intelligence and he has this mayor outfit that's boosting him up a little bit I already have a stem pack plus I got one from a lunch box so I'm at the point where I can actually throw one of my people out to the wasteland I usually don't send people to the wasteland this early but if you get a high power uh, dweller like this guy, especially because he's high in endurance, the more endurance a dweller has, the longer they'll last in the wasteland, he's going to go out and get weapons for everybody. So this is actually a very fortunate uh, um, start for my vault. And you won't always be this good. Sometimes you'll be better. Sometimes you'll be worse. But at this point, we're looking pretty good. I wish these two will actually hurry up and get it on. I don't have any charisma gear, which would help it up because charisma, see, that would help um, with, um, oh, you might have to, see, I hate to do this, but I got to. I'm going to actually borrow the mayor's <laughs> close to be able to have a little bit more charisma to kind of speed up the mating process and so right now I'm I'm just waiting for things to happen see now I got this um, objective which is deliver a baby which I'll have that in about two hours and 45 minutes once that first lady that was pregnant and delivers a kid now here's an easy one sell one weapon or outfit because I already have a, a, a weapon wait wait did that say sell yeah I usually don't sell stuff this early but because I don't really like this weapon <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sell it I hate selling the blue I'm not gonna do it no I'm not gonna do it I thought that was just a regular weapon I can't do it so never mind scratch that from the record your honor so let me see so right now where am I at I'm at 25 minutes in once you get to this point it kind of gets a little bit boring because you have to get to 20 dwellers. Actually, you have to get to 18 dwellers for the game to really start jumping because once you get your three of your people high enough, you can con you're constantly sending them on. Um, the quest and then it's like you always have something to do the radio station once you get the 20 dwellers you, You're constantly bringing people in to kind of build your vault. So once you get to this level in the game It slows down a little bit, but I would say your first session you probably want to think about a 25 to 45 minute session and then shut it down for like three hours at least 
All right, so they finally got it in, so the mayor can get his, or this dude can get his his suit, his mayor suit back. And they're in there making beautiful music. Now he's done doing his business. Two more minutes, rushing. I'm gonna throw you in there for some extra luck and I'm gonna try to rush. Hmm. Okay, cool. You're good, so you're gonna go out and get us weapons. I'm gonna try to you should be able to survive at least three hours and today these ladies uh deliver their baby so he's high in strength so boom gotta keep my strength stabilized or my uh, power stabilized and at this point I try to do is keep the the people in the rooms with the same level of of a stat so their productivity doesn't offset each other so for instance this guy right here he has two agility she has two agility it won't offset each other because if you have a high level one and a low level one the low level one kind of brings the productivity of the higher level one down so these two although i hate to have two pregnant ladies in one room especially high up here in fact i probably move both of these down but what you do is she's at five agility she's at five agility they're producing at the same uh, rate, so. Um, no, I'm gonna leave them there. I'm gonna leave them there while my other guy is getting his, his explorer on and with four stim packs with the agility that he have and he's level 10, he should be able to uh, last for at least three hours and two these two ladies have their babies um, my next expansion is gonna probably be the power generator right here water is usually good but I can see how my right my productivity is really high I mean the level is probably high opposed to where my storage is is really low so usually I probably I, I probably need to go ahead and put a water treatment there and throw her there. Now the future is I'm gonna expand these out three, expand those out three. This is uh, gets expanded three that way this um med bed gets expanded three that way the science lab will get expanded three that way this will be a diner with expanded three and then it'll over here i'll have like a bunch of living quarters and all my rest of my stuff but this is kind of the uh the the best start for my bills for vaults that actually keep you going once you shut it down and wait three hours and come back into the game where you can start expanding more and try to get your stuff going um in the right direction so 